at 11.45 a.m. Central Time, the uh, Nyoka Multipurpose Laboratory Modules thrusters began to fire inadvertently and unexpectedly, and that uh, resulted in the International Space Station going about 45 degrees out of attitude. Uh, the crew was never in any danger. Uh, the flight control team here in Houston immediately acknowledged uh, the situation. The crew began to work recovery operations on board uh, to regain attitude. The ISS Progress 78 cargo ship that is docked to the Poisk module on the Zenith side of the International Space Station's Russian segment uh, was uh, brought into play by the Russian flight control team who responded very quickly. The Progress thrusters uh, fired and uh, attitude has now been regained. Uh, so the station is back uh, in a normal attitude configuration. Uh, there's no explanation at this point as to what uh, precipitated the inadvertent thruster firings on the multipurpose laboratory module, but the uh, Russian flight control team has indicated that when we come back uh, over Russian ground stations about 30 minutes from now, they should be able to send commanding to the multipurpose laboratory module to disable that, thr that thrusters, those thrusters on the MLM and uh, prevent uh, any re reoccurrence of inadvertent thrust or firings. Again, the crew is not in any danger, never was in any, in any danger, and attitude control has been regained with the International Space Station through uh, first uh, the initial use of Zvezda service module thrusters, and now through the ISS Progress 78 thrusters on the zenith or space-facing side of the International Space Station's uh, Russian segment.